Are you a homeowner in Canada feeling the pinch of high mortgage rates? You're not alone. The current state of high mortgage rates has left many Canadians grappling with increased monthly payments, creating a wave of anxiety among homeowners. According to a report by the Bank of Canada, homeowners who took out mortgages in the years 2020 and 2021 could see their monthly payments skyrocket by up to 45% in the years 2025 and 2026. This is due to the rising interest rates that are currently sweeping the nation. The most vulnerable in this scenario are those who are highly indebted. Households carrying high levels of debt are particularly susceptible to income loss due to these escalating rates. The central bank has already raised rates twice this year and there are whispers of another increase looming on the horizon. The story doesn't end there. Canadians with high loan-to-income ratio variable rate mortgages are poised to see the largest increase in payments upon renewal. The overall increase in monthly payments for all types of mortgages originated in the years 2020 and 2021 is expected to be around 30%. The struggle is real for homeowners, but what are the authorities doing to address this? Finance Minister Christia Freeland has been proactive in addressing the mortgage rate crisis. In a world where high mortgage rates are causing a ripple of anxiety among homeowners, the government is stepping in with a plan to address these concerns. Freeland has introduced new rules and guidelines aimed at protecting homeowners. These rules are designed to ensure that as millions of Canadians face mortgage renewals at potentially higher rates, they are not left in the cold. She expects Canadian banks to adhere to these guidelines and work in the interest of homeowners, a significant shift in the way we approach mortgage renewals. One of the key elements of this response is the non-binding Canadian Mortgage Charter. This charter includes a series of measures designed to ease the burden on homeowners. Among these measures are the temporary extension of amortization periods and the waiving of some fees. These initiatives aim to make renewing a mortgage less daunting, even in the face of higher rates. However, the success of these initiatives hinges on the cooperation of the banks. While the charter is non-binding, Freeland believes that the banks will work with the government and Canadians to act on these commitments. It's a crucial step towards a more homeowner-friendly mortgage environment, but not everyone agrees with this approach. Conservative leader Pierre Poilievre has criticized the government's strategy. He argues that it could lead to increased prices, rent, debt, taxes, and interest rates. Despite these criticisms, the government remains steadfast in its commitment to protecting homeowners. In addition to these measures, Freeland has also hinted at the possibility of additional interventions in the spring budget. These interventions would be designed to further alleviate the strain of high mortgage rates on homeowners. Furthermore, Freeland is focusing on improving the state of the economy. She aims to create an environment where the Bank of Canada can lower interest rates without fear of inflation. This would further ease the pressure on homeowners facing potentially higher mortgage rates at renewal. With these measures in place, the question remains, will the banks cooperate? The ball is now in the bank's court. The Canadian government is urging banks to adhere to new rules and guidelines aimed at protecting homeowners who will be renegotiating loans at potentially higher rates. This call to action is a response to the impending reality that over 3 million Canadians will face mortgage renewals in the next year and a half. This could lead to increased monthly payments, sparking worry among homeowners. The government has introduced a non-binding Canadian mortgage charter, which includes measures such as temporarily extending amortization periods and waiving certain fees. While there is no clear enforcement mechanism, the government is hopeful that the banks will cooperate, working alongside them and Canadians to act on these commitments. But what does this mean for the future of homeownership in Canada? High mortgage rates can be a daunting prospect for potential homeowners, making the dream of owning a home seem unattainable. On the other hand, these rates could also lead to a shift in the real estate market, with more Canadians turning to rental properties, altering the landscape of homeownership in the country. The government is also considering additional measures to improve the state of the economy. This could allow the Bank of Canada to lower interest rates without fear of inflation, providing some relief to homeowners. But this is not a guaranteed solution, and the future remains uncertain. The role of banks in this scenario is pivotal. Their willingness to cooperate with the government's initiatives could significantly impact the homeownership landscape in Canada. Banks have the power to alleviate some of the burdens homeowners are facing, but their actions in the coming months will determine the extent of this impact. As mortgage rates continue to rise, the future of homeownership in Canada hangs in the balance. Stay informed, stay prepared.